Um, thank you, Excellency. Um, let me thank you for leading over all of us to leave NATO, which is uh, not the North Atlantic Treaty Organization, but <laughs> no action talk only. <laughs> Uh, and so we are very happy that uh, we are, we've now moved with the Kipes. Mm. And when this, was, this came up in Naivasha, Your Excellency, we said this is what we've been waiting. You met us where we were going mm. in terms of getting our industrial parks together. So I think that's a step in the right direction. Now, speaking about cotton and the Cotton Valley chain, I think what we need, as you said correctly, is the correct seeds. In Homo Bay, for example, we've now using the Narig money under the World Bank mobilized farmers in their cooperatives and supported them. But now, we are now we've now uh, registered over 12,000 farmers with about 15,000 acres uh, of land. If you calculate how much seeds we need, we need about 22,500 kilos of, of seeds. And, 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 and we had already talked to our farmers about BT cotton. But now it's become very difficult to access the seed. I'm glad that the ministry next week will be coming to Homer Bay with 3,500 kilos of seed. So you can see the gap is still very large. And if you look at the yield, if we had BT cotton, 22,500 tons, we'd be able to produce at least 22,500 tons of, um, of cotton at the end of the day and be able to support River Tex, which only needs 56,000 tons for the year. So the seed question is began. What we said, Your Excellency, when we met with the minister was, the national government doesn't have to give it all. If we can acquire it and we have a G2G, so that counties we can also put in, because this is our lifeline as well, so that counties we can also put in money to buy the seeds. But we need to know where to buy the seeds. Because you know, if seeds don't grow, it's an impeachment question. <laughs> Sus can tell you, you know. <laughs> Isn't it Sus? You can be impeached if you give seeds that don't grow. So <laughs> that's a very important uh, uh, question there. So if we can get it from government, we'll know it will be satisfied, certified seeds that if we give will grow. Uh, and of course now following that will be the issue of pesticides and just farmer education going forward. And then there's the issue of ginning. And I think the private sector brought it out. When Homer Bay farmers grow seeds, they are ginned in Salawa, in Baringo. So now, you know, Seeing is believing. We know we are faith people. Faith is, you know, the thing, the, you know, believing in things hoped for, but people want to see. If I know this is my ginary, I will take it there. So I think the issue of ginary is big. I want to leave that at that. And then speak briefly about edible oils. Your Excellency, I know you've spoken about Busia and we are working there, but do you know that 80% of Kenya's Lake Victoria is in Homabi? The other four counties share 20%. <laughs> so when it comes to palm oil, last week, together with the private sector, we were in Uganda. We saw what they've done in terms of growing palm oil. You actually haven't slept since I came from Uganda because I'm thinking, where am I going to get the land to put together farmers? Because you can't get 100,000 acres of land or 50,000 that is out there. So it's to talk to farmers and to owners of land to ask them how we can come together in cooperatives and grow the palm, palm oil so that we can move. So that is a very, if you saw what happened, with, if I saw what I saw in Uganda, surely there is no reason at all why the entire lake basin cannot be growing the palm, the palm oil. And same to sunflowers and, and so on, Your Excellency. And finally, energy must be part of this discussion. The energy ministry must be part of the conversation. Because every investor, now we have industrial parks, every investor is asking, what about power? And there are people, for example, who want to come and invest in solar farms, you know, and so on and so forth. But you know the queue. When I was uh, chair of the finance committee, there was a big queue of people looking for PPAs, over two, three hundred uh, people. So how do we deal with the issue of power? Thank you, Excellency. Your Excellency, you can see why I started with the ladies. <laughs> uh, my Vice Chair, Governor Wajir, <laughs> and then we'll go to Governor Sicily. 